Hi, I'm Buzz Ramsey here to talk about how to store fish. Here, for example, is a Chinook salmon that we caught a few months ago. Uh, spring Chinook out of the Columbia River, but uh, this will work on salmon from the Great Lakes or anywhere. But uh, when it comes to storing fish, uh, you've got a couple of options. Uh, one is, of course, if you catch them fresh, there's nothing like eating them fresh, and fish, fresh fish will keep in the refrigerator for about five days. If you're going to have uh, keep them beyond that time, you need, to, uh, you need to freeze them or store them in some way. Many people vacuum pack their fish, that certainly works, but we've developed a couple of quick and easy ways. One is to freeze your fish whole, and what these, this means is you don't gut them. You know, this fish, for example, we caught it, we broke a gill raker so it would bleed out, we put it in a cooler full of ice, brought it home, put it in a bag, and froze it. And they'll keep six to nine months this way. And then uh, when you thaw them out, the secret to it, when you thaw them out, because they'll get mushy if you just lay them on the counter and let them thaw, because they take quite a while, is to put them in a cooler of water the night before, and let them thaw in that cooler of water. And then in the morning, you know, they're thawed out, and then you flay them, process them like you normally would, eat them fresh, smoke them, whatever, they're, they're great. Uh, that works with salmon, but it'll work with any type of fish. For example, here's some trout that we caught, and we uh, just laid them out in, the, in this bag uh, on a freezer shelf there, and uh, froze them whole, for example. And this will work with, with panfish or anything. We just froze them whole, and, uh, and then we'll thaw them out, usually just in a bucket of water. It doesn't take very long, they're pretty small. And, uh, and then flay them or however you like them and uh, eat them up. You usually only keep these maybe, maybe up to a couple months this way, but uh, you can have fresh, fresh trout. Another way is to freeze your fish in barbecue sauce. And of course, you've got to have a barbecue and you've got to like barbecue sauce to do this. But, um, but this method is one where you fillet the fish and then you put the fillets in a Ziploc bag and you pour a couple of cups of barbecue sauce in here, pretty generous amount. Cover all the meat with the barbecue sauce, fold the bag over and all the air out. You don't necessarily have to cover the, the, the skin side because it's pretty protected. Just like when you freeze them whole, then you fold the bag over and lay that in your freezer and have them freeze like that and they'll keep for a long time this way, months. And so uh, that's another method that is pretty quick and easy. Um, and uh, this way you keep your fish fresh tasting. Nobody likes fishy tasting fish. They want fish that is uh, fresh tasting and they'll keep this way. Um, we do it all the time. It's our normal, normal way that we process fish.